Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and to this build of the 13 inch Span Peanut Bristol Bow Fighter, rubber powered. Not that it'll ever fly, but uh, it's a kind of an in-between project, a mini project, but not because it's mini, it's easy actually. So, first step that I did, I'll show you then where I am now, but first I took a 1mm balsa and I cut strips around 1mm which I don't know in inch now, it's probably 1 20th maybe, something like that, so it's very very thin, like it's less than a matchstick, I would say it's like maybe two thirds or half of a matchstick uh, in, in thickness. Um, so I cut those strips and then basically with those strips, and I try to do them as close to each other as, sim as, as, as I can, like as similar in size as I can, and what I did first of all, I did the, the frame, the instructions say first to build a box frame, here if you can see it is a typical section so I'm building this box frame, so first I did one side, top bottom and then in between, I was using even tweezers to put in the glue, using very little glue because glue is weight and we want to avoid that, so first those two sides and then what I managed to do yesterday, I cut the pieces for the, to the I put them I put the sides upside down because that's the straight side and I connected already parts of it so if I take out now the pins these pins are to keep it upright like as vertical as possible and hopefully I can show you now live what this looks like take those out and as you can see a lot of these drawing pins that I'm using to keep it in shape and to keep it flat as Cliff likes to say, like when we take these out, always careful because sometimes they could stick to the to the paper or to the plastic or to the wood or anything, so we don't want to damage. So a lot of little pins which hardly fit in here, so really very careful. And this is tremendously flimsy, like the the wood, I don't know if you can see it, but it bends really with very little effort, with very little weight. So I'm just waiting for the moment that I'll actually break it. And this last one, I can't get at it, so I need some tweezers. Let's see if I can get these tweezers. And, and what I did also, first I stuck one side, made sure it was kind of stuck, and then I stuck the other side. And now it's stuck to the plastic, which happens, right? So more or less, this is then the the frame, the box frame. And this is the top, and now I have to put the sim a similar equivalent cross sections for the bottom. And once that is done, then I can start to build up the sides of the the, the tops and the bottom of the fuselage. Here are the forms. Um, so I'll again, trace it out of the one millimeter. One by one we've got we've got form A that goes here which is kind of the nose. It doesn't have a propeller here but it's a twin engine so this is the middle nose. And then form B has a bottom and top and bottom. B, C, D, E, F and G. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you look at for example at form G, I don't know if you can see it now, it's tremendously small. So anyhow, that will then go here at the on the on the last form. Once that is done, then then it will be the the stringers. I probably need to cut some more. The the, the three stringers at the top, up to the cockpit, and then also I think three stringers at the bottom. So when I cut out these forms, I have also to cut out the the one millimeter boxes, let's say, or, or cuttings for the um, for the stringers. So that's very flimsy work, very detailed work all along. Um, it doesn't look as straight as I would like it to be, but I don't think I can get it any better. Top view looks kind of okayish, maybe not completely straight, but uh, as I say, probably not. I can't get in much better. So I get along with this. It does take time because I wait quite alone for. I do just a few bits at, at a time to make sure that the glue has set. And uh, hopefully, when I have a bit more progress on these on the fuselage, I can give you some updates. Time for a short update on the bow fighter on the peanut bow fighter. So. I've built up the structure of the fuselage and also put in the, the top and bottom formers for the fuselage 
overall it's a little bit offset to the left I'm looking at it from the top now showing it from the top so it's I, I try to keep it as straight as possible but it's kind of impossible <laughs> but anyhow a little bit offset but I think it might not be very noticeable so the box structure is there very small pieces some of them and slow progress of course and now what I have to do I have to make sure that I have enough of the of the strips of balsa and basically build them in and one by one well I'll trim I'll trim these off first of all because here we go a little nose cone there it is um, and then build in these strips of balsa hopefully it will be kind of straightish and uh, glue them in place trim them or trim and glue one by one I think it's three on the top and three on the bottom so it's six I need to count and uh, one thing that I think I'm missing is here on top of the nose I think there's one missing here that I haven't found somewhere on the plan where which where it is so basically one will have to come across here so I can just draw it up probably and just put it in place to have one to support the windscreen and also then the top of the nose that will then go on to that, uh, that nose block that has to be carved out. It might be somewhere on the plan but I can't find it. So anyhow that's uh, a little bit of that and then hopefully once I have it mostly complete the fuselage then I can show you the progress. So time to, to wrap up this video and here is pretty much the fuselage completed. Let's see if you can see it. I've put all the stringers on the top and the bottom and I spent an enormous amount of time on trying to shape the, the nose cone. I think I still need to sand it down a little bit. It's a little bit too big, but it's better too big than too small, right? So I still probably sand it down. Um, I've invented a little former here for the, for the cockpit and then I still have to put them the, the cockpit plastic. I have to figure out how to, what, what shape to put. So I'll probably use some paper, try to make some templates and work on it. It's going to take some time. And also what I want to do, I hope I don't forget, is I want to paint this this wood maybe grey or, or green or black or something because on the last model I did I left it wood and then it looked a little bit awkward, I'm going to say it like that. But black probably would be okay because you're going to it's going to be seen through the through the canopy, through the through the cockpit window. So that's basically then the, the fuselage, as I say a little bit more to do, but uh, one part completed and the next part Maybe the wing, I'm not sure. Let's see, I'll think about it. In any case, as always, thank you everybody for following along and for watching on this one. And I'll see you next time.